And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Welcome to Jurassic Park. That's right. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Today we're taking a look at an expansion for Jurassic Park, or, or expansion for Funkoverse about Jurassic Park. There's actually two different boxes for this. A big, large one, which I'll be taking a look at in, this, in another video. And in this video, I'm taking a look at the two-player one here. This is Dr. Ian Malcolm and the T-Rex which can be added to Funkoverse, which already has the Golden Girls, DC Heroes, Harry Potter, um, Rick and Morty, Kool-Aid Man, and more. So now we have a T-Rex, who is not quite as big as you might think, and Dr. Ian Malcolm, one of the snarkiest characters who was right in the movie. Anyhow, besides the point, what does this add? What's in it? I'm not going to be going over the full rules of the game. I did a review on that already. Here, I just want to show you what's inside this set, and you might be interested in getting it. Let's go. One of the coolest things about this expansion is the these point tokens. They're amber, right? But if you look closely, you'll see there's mosquitoes in them. I don't know. I just thought that was really, really cool. So we have two different maps here. We have the, the lab here for the smaller game if you're playing that. Or you have the, you know, the most iconic scene from Jurassic Park here, which is really interesting because there's a lot of obstacles here on it. You have the two cars and you have some bushes here around this. And the game comes with, you know, different scenarios that you can play on each of these. Now, uh, the game comes with two characters, Dr. Ian Malcolm and a T-Rex. Now, I will say that the Funko T-Rex is funny, I guess, but it just doesn't look very intimidating here next to Malcolm model-wise. I know this is Funko Pop and all. It's one of those times where I thought that, I don't know, it's it's okay for me. I mean, I really like yeah, Malcolm. He's pretty cool looking, but the T-Rex is, well, it's a T-Rex. Now, Game-wise, T-Rex is one of my favorite characters for a couple reasons. One, both his tokens are the same color, which is pretty awesome. Two, he has an opportunity attack here with the predatorial instincts here. While standing, if a, a rival ends its move adjacent to him, you can use one of these red tokens from your tool pool, put it on the one track to do a challenge two against that rival. That's really neat, and it makes me want to play the T-Rex with someone else who has a red token, just so I have a lot of these. But then his other abilities, uh, level two, to push people away, which is okay. Stop, move three, hit everyone in line. S four, do a challenge four, and if it knocks someone else, you can take one of these red tokens off the cooldown track. Really powerful stuff. Uh, just a very, uh, very strong attacker, one of the strongest in the game. Malcolm is cool. Um, rather than strong with only a one uh, defense, but he can challenge someone one, and if he fails, do it again. So in sense, it's snark. I like the name of that. Life finds a way is one of the most interesting abilities in the game, where you can switch a token out of your pool or cooldown track with one from outside the game. So bringing in different colors, kind of customize your pool as the game goes by, and then must go faster, roll a die, and if you roll the uh, exclamation points, move five, otherwise move two. You're thinking, well, that only gives you one out of six chance. Well, not quite. See, he comes with the chaos die. Unlike the normal die, which has a shield on two sides, a hit on three sides, and the exclamation part point on one side, here we have the exclamation points on three sides, and it's blank. And whenever he rolls dies, it says here, he must replace one of those to the standard dice with the chaos die. So he's going to roll this, which is pretty awesome, but it's random. So he could really wail on people or randomly miss, and it will make his must go faster even cooler, which makes him one of my favorite characters, again, because I really enjoy this random die. There's other stuff that comes in this expansion, you know, some extra generic characters if you don't have enough of the big characters to play with, and plenty of tokens, and cooldown tracks, and a full rule book where the the T-Rex looks more menacing of how to play. And that's what's in this set. I'm always, you know, torn. I want to say, oh, this is my favorite set. This is my favorite. And I really like this one a lot. I like these two together. You know, you got the T-Rex who's running around. Malcolm switches out one of the chips from the other teammate. You bring on, I don't know, bring on uh, Rick or something. Uh, well, you know, whatever. And switch out one of his tokens for another red token. The T-Rex is walking around just smashing stuff while Ian Malcolm is doing some cool stuff. And I didn't even show you in the overview, but I'll show you now. He has a flare. 
So the flare is the item that comes with this game. And the flare itself here lets you pull a rival that can, you pick a square that's three spaces away, then you pick a rival that you can see two spaces towards that square. Although in this game it actually could be a push too. I actually don't think the flare is as useful with Malcolm. Although the flare, Malcolm plus the T-Rex is pretty handy. There, stand next to the T-Rex. Now let him chomp you. Cool combo. Brings Jurassic Park. Yes, the dinosaur is kind of out of uh, uh, proportion, I guess, with the other characters. But then again, the Funko Pop characters have never been about proportions anyway. So I think I'm just being weird now at this point. A fun addition. Like I said, this is the two-player version. There's the four-box version, which has the raptor and the other scientists in it. And you can check out my video for that. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.